So I recorded this video a few hours ago, and since then some stuff has actually been confirmed about the game. So if something has been confirmed, which there isn't too much, but some of the things have, I'll put a tweet up from Charlie Intel, who gets pretty much all the Call of Duty information, and that'll just let you know that that has actually been confirmed, and it's not just my personal speculation anymore. Hey guys, so it's Jan from Legend Gaming. In this video, we're taking a look at the Call of Duty World War II trailer. The multiplayer reveal for this game came out earlier today, and it looks pretty awesome. The only thing is the movement of the players looks a bit shaky, but that's probably just a bug in the uh, pre-alpha that they were looking at with the trailer. But overall, this looks pretty good. I'm really excited for this game. Um, the weapon sounds look pretty good. The weapon handling looks pretty good. Um, the trailer overall itself wasn't that good, but at least we got to see some gameplay like bayonet charges. We got to see flamethrowers, which I'm assuming will be a kill streak. Uh, something else they saw that was super interesting, which I think might be a kill streak. Uh, we also he uh, here see uh, the Sten right there. Uh, but something that was super interesting uh, as far as the kill streak goes is I think you see planes flying down and uh, you've been able to pilot a plane. But I think that that might be a kill streak where you actually get to pilot a plane or pilot vehicles. Um, I know that we saw tanks and we also see parachuters. Um, I'm not like. There's a lot of speculation that's going around with this game, um, whether there will be vehicles in multiplayer, um, as far as the parachuting goes, like what the sort of map count for the players will be, will it be 6v6, 12v12, or even higher, uh, we don't really know as of right now. There seems to be a decent amount of destruction though also, which is something new to the COD franchise, um, but that could also just be uh, planes crashing and the maps being pre-destroyed. But as you can see uh, in the one clip where there's a ship. The planes are flying all around the ship, and it looks pretty cool. Uh, we also see some melee weapons, and we see a sniper on a huge wide open map, and the sniper actually looks pretty cool. Uh, we see a bombing run as well, uh, which is pretty interesting. And then we see some artillery fire at planes, planes crashing down everywhere. And um, I'm just excited for the kill streaks more than anything. I want to know what the kill streaks are, and also create a class. I want to know what they're doing with that, and we're going to find out much more tomorrow at the uh, Q and A that they're going to do for this game. Because really, the trailer shows us pretty much what we all expected. It's basically just the exact same thing as multiplayer, but it just sort of allows us to differentiate what's in multiplayer and what's in single player, and give us a sneak peek at some of the maps. Uh, the only real concrete news that we got for this was that uh, the multiplayer beta is going to be uh, on August 25th. And it, when I'm not playing the trailer, I also just have some Infinite Warfare competitive games. Uh, some S&D clutches in tournaments and some uh, one nice uplink throw where I just finesse the other team and was able to get a 1v4 throw. But um, I'm just not exactly sure where they're going to go as far as these streaks go in this game and the creative class and everything. Um, they really need to, one, please the community by keeping COD similar to the old boots on the ground games, but at the same time they, they need to try to innovate in some sense. Uh, Division seems pretty interesting um, as a way to rank up and unlock weapons uh, within multiplayer. I hope it's a lot more than uh, what Infinite Warfare has with the um, various mission teams because the mission teams kind of flopped and uh, the only reason why anyone uses them is to unlock weapon variants essentially. You don't really feel bound to your mission team um, at all. You just basically get your assignment and you try to complete it for those uh, to rank up to get weapons. It isn't really like sort of uh, have like a cult following, whereas in Destiny, like the various uh, heroes in that game, which you could only choose, you could only choose, you chose Warlock at the beginning, and that was your role in the game. You could make secondary characters and stuff, but uh, that was your role in multiplayer and uh, PvP, or uh, sorry, um, PvE. That was your role. You were a Warlock, a Hunter, or a Titan, and you couldn't really change that um, unless you made a secondary character and you had to start ranking up. Uh, all on its own. I'd be pretty interested to see if Call of Duty did that too, where you had to choose a role when you started. I find I would find that to be interesting, but I'm not sure how much I'd like it. I really like COD as it is with the creative class. Um, there's a lot broken with the current Call of Duty games, but I really find the creative class isn't something that is broken. But I'm willing to give uh, uh, Sledgehammer a chance to try to change this because Sledgehammer really did do a decent job with the jetpacks in Advanced Warfare. I mean, they had to try to innovate and basically do something that Call of Duty had never done before, and I feel like they did a decent job even though the game got a lot of hate, uh, especially since they were the first ones to actually try that. So, I have faith in Sledgehammer, and I'm excited to actually listen to 
the uh, Q&A tomorrow, and I'll be updating you with all the new news that we get. Um, but yeah, other than that, we don't really know too much. We got basically confirmed World War II weapons. I mean, they're basically going to try to put whatever World War II guns they can put in here. Um, we didn't see any red dot sights is one thing that I was uh, sort of in interested to see. Uh, we did see gas masks as well as just some basic stuff. We saw some bipoded LMGs. Um, but again, no red dot sights, which is pretty interesting because I'm not saying a freaking like uh, present day red dot sight. But um, Battlefield uh, 1 has this and uh, Call of Duty World of War had it and it was sort of like a pop-up like telescopic site where it's just sort of like it has just a little uh, like circle and then there's a red dot in the middle that you can use to aim more accurately but we did not see that in the trailer which I was really interested to see and I'm hoping they do have that in the game because it uh, makes it really hard to have precise shots with iron sights and that's something that we've gotten really used to uh, in present day is having those red dot sights to be precise with our shots. Uh, now one more thing is we did see a guy screw on a suppressor in the middle of running. Uh, I'll try to show the clip here if I can, but he just seems to sh screw on a suppressor while he's running, which is something we haven't really had in call before. You can just randomly screw on a suppressor while you're running. Uh, could that be like a secondary tactical where you just have a suppressor as your tactical? Um, that would be kind of odd, but he seems to just screw it on to the end of his gun, which is pretty weird. Uh, if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to drop a like down below. I'll be, try be trying to keep you guys updated with all the new Call of Duty news. Uh, we didn't see any odd movement, again, which is something good. So it is like 100% boots on the ground. Um, I mean, that's pretty obvious, but there were obviously those people that were going to uh, speculate about it and be weird about it. But uh, tell me what you think about the new Call of Duty. I know the majority of my audience is Battlefield, and the majority of them probably didn't even click on this video. But if you did, tell me what you think about the new Call of Duty so far with the information that we have. And uh, if you're watching this after the Q&A and you saw my video on the new information, tell me what you think also. But that's what it appears to you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.